Hey there, would you like to know how to create these floating ball particle simulations to use in your animations? Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'll be going over my workflow with the Blender Particle Simulator and how to leverage its physics settings to create these slow and elegant particle sims that I use in the background of my Game Boy Color animations. Let's do it. Start by deleting the default cube, then add a new one to set as our particle system. At a particle system, set the start and end for your simulation and then change the emission from surface to volume. I also go down to the cube's object properties, viewport display, and change the display to wire. This way the domain itself won't block my view into the viewport as I'm working. Next, go down to the physics and set the type to fluid and then go down to field weights and turn the gravity all the way down to zero. This way the particles will behave like a fluid and they won't be affected by gravity so they will float nice and slowly through our scene, like this. Now there's a few key settings you're going to want to adjust to get the motion you're looking for. The first set of these are the repulsion factor, stiff viscosity, interaction radius, and rest density. The next set of these are the ones in the forces tab, specifically the drag and damp sliders. These will basically slow down or speed up, I guess the resistance inside your simulation, so very important ones. And then the third set of these are the stiffness, viscosity, and buoyancy inside the physics tab. And finally, if your simulation is moving too fast for your liking or too slow, feel free to change the normal velocity. Just play around with these as a simulation plays to get the distance and motion of the particles you're looking for correct. You can get some really interesting effects here just by moving these around, so definitely just have fun with it. Now the simulation is starting to take shape, feel free to add the actual object that is going to be rendered for the particles. In my case, it's these balls. Red, blue, and yellow balls to be precise. The material for these is just a principled BSDF with a noise procedural plugged into the roughness and normal channels to give us some interesting texture. I also crank up the subsurface scattering and set the subsurface color to the same as the base color. I just think this makes the material look a lot softer and juicier if that makes any sense. Now to make these balls of particles in the simulation, I navigate to the render tab, render as object, and set the instance object to the ball mesh. I then tweak the scale slider to change the size of each individual ball and I also scale up the scale randomness to randomize the ball size. I also import my Game Boy model at this stage and set it in the center of the scene since it will be the focal point of the shot. If you would like to see how I textured this model, I have a video of that on my channel. We're almost done now, all that's left to do in the shot view is to change the seed of your particle system as the simulation is playing until I find a good overall shot composition and motion for the particles. I'm looking for a nice coverage of balls in the shot, alongside some interesting motion that's carried through from the beginning to the end of my animation. If you get a lot of ball clumping, colliding, or some rogue balls flying off at Mach 1 speed, either change the seed, amount of particles, or play around further with the fluid physics sliders from earlier. Don't be afraid to cycle through a crazy amount of seeds to find the one you're happy with. Once I find my perfect balls, I make sure my lighting looks good, add a slight rotating animation to the Game Boy itself so it's not so static, render it, and that's that. This has been a super quick rundown on the Blender Particle Simulator. Feel free to explore more by trying different kinds of physics types, adding crazy effectors like vortex, turbulence, wind, etc. Hey, go crazy and make some cool stuff. See you next time.